top of the morning to you lads. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm headed to other city for a rainbow trout fishing competition. There is a small part of the river that is between two dams and a fly fishing team managed to let uh, some rainbow trouts in that part of the river and they are making a little competition today. I never fished for rainbows because they don't live naturally here in Lithuania. So uh, I'm not sure what to expect. If you're watching this video that means that I managed to catch at least a few fish so that's good for me and if you don't well you'll never know. Going into that event, I wasn't expecting to win anything or compete for top spots, but I still had some ambition. I kind of thought to myself, how hard can it be? And when I got there and saw all the faces that I was about to compete against, then the reality struck me. and. I knew I was way over my head in that event. Basically I had no experience in area fishing or trout fishing in general. Nonetheless I like to compete, I don't know it's just in my blood, doesn't matter how good I am at certain things but if I'm doing something I really like to aim for top spots. The structure of the competition was very interesting too. Basically the river was divided into 12 or 16 sectors I think. You drew a card from a basket and basically it said the first sector you're gonna fish in and the first side of the sector you're gonna fish in. And you went there, your opponent uh, got on the other side of the sector, you fished for 15 minutes, then you changed sides and whoever caught more fish won that sector and then you move to other sector that's on your card. So you fished in eight sectors against eight different people. to win my zone on the last seconds with one fish up to the next one i lost my second sector by one fish and my third sector by one fish too and all the five sectors that i fished later we ended up with zero fishes all of us I got like three or four bites in my first sector and managed to land only one fish at the very very end of the time and later throughout the day just watching other guys fish uh, I kind of understood what was my mistakes because I spent so much time fishing for salmon I have this kind of pre-programmed feeling whenever I feel the bite I'm lifting my rod up to set up the hook and for trout and area trout fishing with barbless hooks this thing doesn't work at all and after losing my first three fish i started to observe other guys fishing and i kind of understood it that they were hooking the fish sideways 
and trying to keep the rod as low as possible and they're not pulling the fish with the rod they're only reeling the fish in and when I understood the whole concept it was kind of too late because later in the day I did not had any more bites going into that event I kind of predicted this that the fish would be active at first and after like 30 minutes to an hour I thought the fish will get spooky and it will move to other side of the river and that's basically what happened and whoever had the most experience with the fish and this kind of fishing those guys still managed to catch a few fish and probably some of them won I couldn't stay for the ceremony and prizes and all the trophies because I had to head home I was a little bit on the rush but all I can say the event was great I really liked participating in it uh, you guys did an awesome job and I really hope I can come back next time and I'm really looking forward to it. And after this event I understood I really like this concept and I want to try area fishing more. So guys thanks for watching, don't forget to click all the buttons, subscribes and likes and so on or don't, it's your life, whatever you do is cool. I'll be catching with you in a few days, I have next video coming up soon. Stay tuned for that and I'll see you soon. Peace.